Hey guys, it's Michael from the Pokemon Connection, and uh, here's Alex to say his line for my walkthrough. The Pokemon Connection is Pokemon Ruby Walkthrough Part 9. Thank you, Alex. So, here I am in Duford Town. I just beat the gym, and now we are heading to Slateport so we can deliver the Devon goods to Captain Stern. So, we just take this guy's boat, and we go here, go here, go here. Keep uh, boating across. <laughs> okay, here we are. So, Mr. Briney has delivered us to Slateport Town. And on the beach here, there is a fair amount of trainers. There's also a house full of trainers. Um, so, yeah. Um, here, just switching Alex up here. And we're going to face the first trainer who has a Machop. So, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have put Alex first, but I'll just switch train him. Now... Out comes Alex, who is definitely not going to fight Machop, because he will get owned. So, Ben comes in. Machop uses Focus Energy, which, in case you didn't know, raises your critical hit ratio. So, uh, sorry, my button's stuck here. There we go. Uh, just going to use Wing Attack. Uh, super effective. Machop uses Karate Chop. It's a critical hit. Not very effective. Wing Attack, and Machop is down. So, Machop faints, and we beat this guy. Um, sorry, my button keeps getting stuck here. It's kind of stupid. Um, anyway, so, we beat him, and now we are going to the next battle, which is... Oh my god, stupid button. Okay, here, I think I've got it fixed. It's just the buttons on my keyboard right now, because I'm doing this on an emulator. are kind of, like, messed up. Anyway, sorry. Um... So, just this person, these two people here are not trainers, just so you know. Um, yeah. Ooh, sit down in the chair. Sorry, just felt like doing that. Anyway, this guy, however, is a trainer, and he's, like, drunk or something. He's like, er, want to battle with me? So I'm just like, yeah, sure, Edmund. It's his name, Edmund. It's a funny name, you don't really hear that name. Anyway, so I use Rock Tomb, because that is super effective on Wingle, I think. I know it's super effective on Flying type, which Wingle is part flying. Um... Yeah, so Rock Tomb, Wingle's out. It used Growl though, so that lowered my attack, which kind of sucks. Um, he sent it in another Wingle, which we shouldn't have a problem with. He has this one last Wingle, and he has a Machop. So, we'll deal with that in a second. Wingle uses Supersonic. Um, Rock Tomb misses, so, <laughs> yeah. Um... Also, uh, I just want to talk about, in this episode, in case you didn't know, the name raider is in Slateport City, and also in case you didn't know, in my first two episodes, you might have noticed my Trico's name was Jerry, now it's not, I've gone over this story a lot, but maybe you haven't heard it, and it's just like, my file got deleted, and so I had to restart, forgot to name him Jerry, so now that we're in Slateport with the name raider, we are going to rename him Jerry, because I said I would name all of my Pokemon random human names, so yeah, uh, Anyway, here comes Machop. I used to think Machop was Rock-type. I might have said that before, too. I just, for some reason, thought ro it was Rock-type. Like, I'm not sure why. Like, maybe it was because, like, it looked like he was made of rocks. I'm not sure. Anyway, so, he uses Focus Energy, which it seems a lot of Machops in this game know. Um, Ben's level 14, so that's good. It's like, yes. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Uh... Off to fight this guy, and uh, this particular trainer, he's like a little tuber person, is very unique. Well, actually, he's not unique. His zigzagoon is unique, and um, the the reason being uh, is that his zigzagoon here actually knows um, well you'll see in a sec. It's his zigzagoon that knows surf, <laughs> so it's this level fourteen zigzagoon that knows surf, which is which I find really weird, because, like, how does a Zigzagoon learn Surf? Plus, it's, like, level 14, and the move Surf is a pretty good move. <laughs> anyway, so Aaron is dead because of Surf. Like, a surfing Zigzagoon. I just I just can't get over it. Alex actually didn't believe me when I told him. <laughs> until I had to prove it to him and show him. Uh, so, in comes Trico. Who uses Absorb. And Zigzagoon had its energy drained. 
leaves it at red HP. Uh, anyway, so uh, just during this next battle, and for a second here, Alex just gonna talk about his crystal walkthrough because he's having no. Okay. Uh, never mind. Uh, just watch his uh. Sorry, here he is. Actually, yeah, well, um, I kind of stopped, in a sense, the walkthrough. But if you've seen my update video, I hope to get back on track and uploading and be up, like, <laughs> upload more consistently. And, well, yeah. Here's Michael. Yeah, so check out his Pokemon Crystal Update 2, not Update 1. Update 2, it'll just explain what's going on. And yeah, you can also check out our other videos. Um, now I'm sorry I haven't uploaded my next sprite request video because actually I didn't get any sprite requests at all, which is kind of sad. And I got comments, but they weren't even requests. They were just saying that they liked the vid. So I guess it's alright. I just said vid. That sounds weird. Video. Vid. Ugh, I can't believe I did that because that actually bugs me when people do that. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. So. We beat her. And, uh, this guy, just for your information, is not a trainer. Just, I thought he was, so, never mind. He isn't. So, he's talking about polluting water. And, yeah. So, now here, there's a, ha a house with three trainers in it. And this person's just like, whether you're hot to trot or cool cat not, come into my daddy's trainer house. Which I find kind of strange, because she used the phrase cool cat, which is... I, d I just don't get that, you know? Like, cool cat? Like, honestly? Just just give up. Anyway. <laughs> so, it uses peck on Kurt, which uses confusion. It uses peck. Confusion. Uh, do, 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 do. So, as I was saying, if you beat all three trainers in this place, and um, then you talk to the guy at the soda machine, he will give you six soda pops. You can talk to him first, and then face all of them, and talk to him after. Or you can just face them all and talk to them. So. Just gonna heal up here for one second. Okay, there we go. Kurt's HP was restored by 20 points. And we talked to this guy. He's all like, if you're looking for a battle on the high seas, you'll find me, or something like that. I don't know. He's a weird person. So he sends out his wingle. This guy has a wingle, a machop, and a tentacle, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see in a second. So, fighting, fighting, fighting. Um, at this point, I'd also like to do a shout-out to Pete Dorr, who, um, basically, it's kind of funny. All his videos are basically just, just like, his game collection, like, he's a collector, I guess, he collects games and game memorabilia, I don't know, it's just kind of funny, because he has, like, tons and tons of games, and it's, like, it's ridiculous, like, he has any game you could possibly think of, it's crazy, like, I'm not really sure how he's obtained all of them, but it's insane, so his channel's just Pete Dorr, Pete D-O-R-R, -R. anyway, you can check that out if you want, it's kind of cool, um, yeah. So, tentacles out, and this guy is defeated. Okay, so, just, uh, heal up my status here. I'm poisoned. One sec. Where is it? Okay. Petcha Berry, Petcha Berry, Petcha Berry. Check tag. I tend to do this a lot. I meant to click use, but I click check tag. Like, I do that so much, it really bugs me. Like, they should put the use option first, not the check tag option. Anyway. So. That's what Petcha Berries do, just in case you didn't know. They cure poison. And I'm actually going to go back here and heal Ralts now. <laughs> Sorry about this. This little, like, preparation is kind of taking a while. Yeah, Alex just made a very good point. He, he goes, like, how come every berry has tags? Like, does it just, like, grow with the tag? Like, you pick it off the tree and it has the tag? Like, honestly. Like, how how do I manage to have a tag for every one of these berries? 
Like, it's, it couldn't be, like, I just have the tags, because then, like, I could just look at the tag for any berry, even though I don't have it. Like, it's only berries that you have. Anyway, for, we face uh, this guy, who, for some reason, I think his sprite, like, um, like his overworld sprite looks like a girl. I'm not sure. At first, I made the mistake of thinking he was, but anyway. So, he has an Azuril, which, the Azuril evolves, I, I hadn't, had no idea what they were. Alex thinks they're mice, which makes sense to me. If you guys know for a fact what they are, or, like, are proving that they are mice, then just tell us, because we're confused. Yeah, so, we have no idea what they are, so, you know, like, please help us if you can. We're confused. Also, I want you guys, I don't know if you have or have not seen the new black and white Pokedex, or Pokemon black and white. I'd say, like, 80% of them look so stupid. I'm sorry. They don't look like Pokemon. They just look dumb. Like... I know you guys might get mad at me for saying this or agree with me. Yeah, there's a there's one that it's an ice cream cone, okay? It's an iced cream cone. And they made like a copy of the Reggies, but they're weird. They're like these guys on a cloud. Like the final evolutions of the other of the water and grass starter don't look that bad, but they have like nothing to do with their first evolutions. <laughs> like it just goes from like being an otter to like a giant sea snake of doom. Um, and also, yeah, the fire, the fire third evolution, it's like the first evolution, second evolution look all right, they look like Pokemon at least, and then it goes to the third, and it's like this massive, like, pig man that's like, it's like, <laughs> it looks like some weird kind of, like, fire god or something, it just looks dumb. Anyway, yeah. Also, at some point, me and Ben might put out a video of an, a rant on action replay. Anyway, so here we are in Slateport City. There's uh, the shipyard up there. Here's some houses. To the left of me is the market. To the right of me here is the museum. You can just see those Team Magma guys. We will deal with them in the next part of this walkthrough. There's the contest center. Here's some people. Contest hall, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. It's contest hall, not contest center. Oh, wow. You know, I might just make someone cry for saying that. Sorry, Alex was just, like, criticizing me in the background there. In case you didn't realize. Um, changing Trico's nickname. Uh, sorry, it lagged a bit there. So, uh, I don't know, I might have to cut this out, I might not. If I don't, then good for me. But I'm just renaming him, like I said, I'm not going to tell the story again, because I'm sure you guys are bored of hearing it. I just told it a whole bunch of times in case you didn't know what was going on. So, he is renamed, so yeah. And here we are in Slateport City. And, um, thanks for watching this episode, actually. Uh, next episode we'll deal with these Team Magma guys. I just have to, like, leave you hanging on a cliff there so you'll watch the next one. So see you next time, and check out our other videos. Bye. Huh? Which Pokemon's nickname should I... It's like...